Unlike you, I am not a bigot. Wickedness is exclusively for T pain. <laughs> Atiku Can you imagine? So what is happening here? <laughs> that Atiku Atinubu are firing each other left, right, and center. What has happened? What is the quarrel about? Let us get into the details to see exactly what is happening. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has said President Bola Tinubu's economic policies and approach to governance is killing Nigerians, and this should be his focus rather than attacking the opposition, which is not in the saddle. <laughs> so Nigerian News reports that Atiku said this in a statement on Monday uh, by his special assistant on public communication, Frank Shaibu, in reaction to a statement by the presidency on Sunday. What did the presidency say? So the former vice president said on July 8, 2024, Tinubu announced that import duty on essential goods like food would be lifted for 150 days. But over 120 days later, the policy is yet to take off. Why Nigerians continue to die daily due to increasing costs, including food inflation, which now exceeds 40%, the highest in decades. The brazen disobedience to a government uh, policy by Tinubu's appointees and the failure of the finance ministry to issue a gazette after over four months of uh, over four months reflects the fatuousness inanity over and the incompetence that characterizes the Tinubu's uh, administration sadly rather than focus on governance they are preoccupied with verbally assaulting their opponents atiku abubakar and peter Obi, why using compromised courts to foster crisis in the opposition? What a shame. So Atiku argued that Tinubu's abysmal performance in the last 18 months had made it clear to all Nigerians that he came into office unprepared. Hence the many policy flips flops that has or that have so far characterized his uh, tenor. He said that Tinubu was obviously unprepared for office, adding that the president acts first and thinks of the consequences afterwards, which is very bad for a leader. So this was why he announced an abrupt removal of petrol subsidy without any cushions. After seeing the effect, he then hurriedly decided to push a CNG initiative, which even he and his ministers have not embraced, hence their refusal to use it. So the former People Democratic Party presidential candidate said that was Atiku. Atiku also pointed out that the CNG initiative um, has so far failed to fully kick off because of a lack of uh, gas infrastructure in most states, stressing that the result is that transport costs continue to soar along with prices of food. He said in his mid-term expenditure framework, he projected the exchange rate at 700 naira per dollar in 2024 and 650 per dollar in 2025. Rather than sack his economic uh, advisors, he continues to live in a fool's paradise, deceiving Nigerians about the FX reserve of $40 billion, when in fact, the net reserves are less than 20% of that. Let the CBN release its financial statement of 2023 if he is sure of his achievements. They will not. So Atiku described as unfortunate the announcement by the military author authorities on the emergency emergence of a new terror organization known as uh, Lakurawa. Can you imagine that Lakurawa now has taken over from, uh, uh, from uh, Boko Haram? So he argued that coupled with the incessant greed uh, collapses in the north due to the activities of criminal elements, Tinubu ought to focus more on improving security, which is a sin qua non for investment. Real sin qua non. So the former vice president argued that the president had decided to play politics with security by appointing his kinsmen in top security economic uh, and economic positions, which is very bad. So even on the economy, he put his kinsmen in every key position, beginning from finance minister, trade and investment, CBN, customs and FRS. Even President Muhammad Wari was not this brazen. 
So unlike Tinubu, Atiku is not a by God. He has also not funded money, refunded money to the United States for alleged drug trafficking. He, the statement uh, added. So he said, despite a huge revenue challenge, Tinubu commits over $13 billion to the controversial Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway, rendering scores of Lagos residents homeless just to release, just to please his associates, while other pressing matters are starved of funds, which is very bad. So Atiku advised Tinubu to make hay while the sun shines, as Nigerians had uh, grown tired of his administration. So he said the president has just barely two years left in office and he should focus on improving the lives of the people. So the statement added, it is ludicrous to claim that Atiku is jealous of Tinubu. Hell no. Atiku cannot be jealous of uh, Tinubu inflicting pains on Nigerians. Wickedness is an exclusive preserve of Tinubu and no compassionate leader who truly cares about the well-being of Nigerians would should be jealous of what is an exclusive preserve of T pain. <laughs> nah, they really finish Tinubu here. So it is disheartening that during the last protest, some frustrated young Nigerians were waving Russian flags and calling on the military to take over. Eh? God forbid we return to those dark days, but leaders must not push their citizens to a point where citizens choose fire over frying pan. Nigeria is currently the worst performing currency in Africa and is now the fifth largest economy on the continent, falling from first when the failure called APC took over in 2015. Most Nigerians are at their wits and end, at wits end, not knowing where their next meal will come from. This should be Tinubu's biggest concern instead of fiddling while the country burns. Very bad. I'm telling you, they really gave him here. Hmm. They gave him seriously. This government actually don't have direction at all. Uh, somebody say facts. Somebody has just, you know, a comment session has agreed to it, alluded to it. This is a fact. This government obviously don't know where they're coming from. They don't know where they're heading to. It's quite unfortunate. So now uh, Atiku has given it back to Tinubu. They're saying that uh, Atiku is jealous of Tinubu. Who will be jealous of this kind of government? Why? What progress have they made that you're jealous for? The truth is that they are just looting and living, you know, sharing Nigerian treasure among themselves and telling Nigerians to sacrifice and bear it. For how long will Nigerians continue to bear it? People are dying in the hospitals, no electricity, no medical care, no water, no road, no security, nothing. You are going ahead to talk about compressed natural gas. Where is the gas facility across the 36 states and every city to run uh, CNG? Meanwhile, in the midst of running CNG, Malaysian government has uh, banned the use of CNG vehicles in their country, meaning that it is unsafe and very, very bad for, 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 you know, for public use. But Nigeria is embracing it and they can't even, they talk about CNG buses. Where are the buses? They can't, they don't even understand the safety and they don't even have the rudiments, the requirements for making a, a CNG vehicle to run. Now, the few of them that have converted their vehicles are having explosions here and there. Now, he, he turned his own nepotism and tribalism is worse than that of Buhari. So, what else do you want to say? Almost their kinsmen are at the helm of affairs across all parastatas in the country. From the Chief Justice to CBN to Minister of Finance to just every, just name it, EFCC, the military, everywhere, judiciary, everywhere, they are the people. God will help us. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment as Tinubu has given it back to, Atiku has given it back to Tinubu once again.